What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast, and I'm about to show you some images and videos from what's happening in Shanghai, China. And when you realize what these people are going through, when you realize how close we are to almost being in the same scenario, then it should put a lot of lot of thoughts in your mind about preparation, something that we've been harping on for as long as I can remember since this channel um, has has been doing it. So here is an apartment. People can't leave their apartments at all. And here is an image of a, a fridge on the balcony, empty. Now, whether this be true or not, or, you know, it's a, a meme on the internet or whatever, I want you to realize that these people have been in lockdown for however many days or actually weeks now. I believe it's somewhere around 20 some days, about three weeks. That should give you some pause because what that's doing, it's destroying the supply chain and anything that China and these and these cities uh, export is not going to be uh, received, right? You can just already subtract that supply away from the global supply chain. And so people like the U.S. and, and uh, Europe and uh, these other nations that depend on these exports, well, they're not going to have them. Here we see uh, barricade checkpoints, it seems like. And people are just breaking through. I don't know what this is for. But I know they're under severe lockdown. And people are... are, are and stress they're trying to find food and eat and and that's that's one of the videos let's go on to the next one people looting uh marketplaces stores the the folks that's why i always say it doesn't matter if you have all this money because at the end of the day, if <laughs> if you can't purchase goods and services, what good does that money do you? George Gaiman always says, are you wealthier or you're poorer than you were in 2019? Could you, do you have the same access to goods and services, right? Even if you pay two to three times more for goods and services, can you get your hands on them? I know some people who tried to um, build a house. They're willing to pay over the asking price um, to get their house built, but they just there's no way to do it because there's no materials. So you end up you end up being stuck with just a uh, legal tender. That's a promise from the government to pay you back. So in essence, it's not worth anything. You see the scenario that we're in? And this this really got me where, I mean, if this is real and legit, where people are, are doing this in, in, in China, it's, it's a sad, sad um, reality. Take a listen. <laughs> Okay, well, that's enough of that. But the mental anguish that these people are probably going through. Folks, now is a good time as ever. 
to make sure that you're doing everything you can to be prepared. Don't waste a single moment. And um, I know I'm doing the best that I can for me and my family for what's coming up next because a lot of people, unfortunately, decide to buy the narrative that's current currently taking place whether a they're ignorant and they choose to be ignorant or b they don't want to see reality for what it is and continue to buy the lie because it's better to uh, ignorance is bliss in other words right but that only lasts for so long until reality actually strikes so folks i hope that this serves as a wake-up call as every other video should be because we're staying on top of current events so, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the video, to the channel. This is the Digital World Podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode.